All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So, sorry if my voice is still a little sick. It's because I am recording these all on the same day before I go on vacation, and I'm still recovering from a cold. So, sorry about that. Again, I'm not sure what order this video will be in, but I'm sure I've already said that. So, yeah. But let's go ahead and get into the video. So, the video we're uh, talking about today is going to be the in-shop review. We have everything in shop and we're just going to be going over pretty much every single item and if it is worth it or not. So we'll go ahead and get started with the SU100Y. Now this is a deal for 2000 gold and it is completely worth it. Just the uh, premium time alone is how much to th it costs 2000 gold plus the entire SU100Y full equipment slots and 10 5 times XP. That is definitely worth it. SU100Y great tank has massive alpha gun and it's pretty fun to play. Moving on to three T22 medium containers. These are definitely not worth it. I mean, 4,000 gold and you only get three containers. Um, and what's the drop chance on these? 5%. So it's not a horrible drop chance, but still, I would not recommend getting the T22 medium containers. Next up, we have the surprise containers. And we have lots of different ones. These, they're not horrible. They're not so insanely expensive as you see right there they're almost half the price of the t22 containers you basically can get all these different tanks you have a chance to get one of them five percent drop chance for each of them basically and uh they're not horrible containers i still wouldn't recommend them because they are crates but if you're looking to get a container um these aren't the worst to get so if you're still you know planning and, and you're expecting to not get anything to spend your gold these aren't the worst to get but I would not recommend them still. So moving on now, we have some deals here. A strong push, all out attack, and massive breakthrough. These are not worth it. Getting um, credits basically for gold is not worth it. It just really doesn't work. Uh, well, it does work, but it's really not worth it. Uh, I wouldn't recommend these just because you're not really getting that much for how much you're paying. Moving on next to the ML1951. And the email 1951 Viking deal. Um, I would not recommend this tank for how much it is. I mean, this is basically an email one. Uh, the email one is just as good as this tank, basically. I mean, it's a little bit worse because they did nerf it. But in my opinion, this is just way overpriced. I mean, compare it with the Object 252U. 8,500 gold to 12,500 gold. I wouldn't really recommend this because of just how expensive it was. If it was more like the Object 252U... I might recommend it, but just for how much gold that is, I really don't. Next, moving on, we have two reliable heavies, and then, of course, these separate deals. I would recommend getting the Object 252U deal. T2020 is still, in my opinion, a horrible tank and really not worth it. And I wouldn't even spend another 4,000 gold just to get the tank. That's my opinion, though. If you want the T2020, this would be a good deal for you right here because it's not that expensive. I mean, it's the same as the EML1951, but you get two tanks. So I would recommend definitely the Object 252U. Amazing tank, one of the best out there at Tier 8, and I absolutely love it. I might already have a review out on it, uh, like a new review. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm posting it, though, so it will either be before or after this. But you can go watch that also if you want to know more about the Object 252U. So we just have more T22 medium containers now here. You already heard my uh, bit on these, uh, same thing. Uh, T4485, this deal right here actually isn't a horrible one. Uh, I still don't think I'd recommend it, but there is only one day on it. So by the time this uh, video comes out, I'm probably going to be posting this. Uh, you know, I'll post it to today, actually, so that you guys will get the right timing on all the stuff in the sh shop. But still, this deal will be almost out. And uh, it's, eh, it's not really worth it but it's not a super expensive amount of gold so um honestly it's up to you i probably wouldn't get it just because it's not really a tank i'm interested in uh but it's not super expensive if you do want it two comrades right here eight thousand gold and you get what is it the matilda 4 and the t4485 also wouldn't recommend this just because it's kind of overpriced pretty much everyone has the matilda 4 because uh i can't remember the event but there's an event where you pretty much everyone got it. And then, like I said, same thing, T4485, just not really a very interesting tank. All right, that's pretty much everything in the offer section. Now we're going to go to the bundles. So, a lucky uh, tier 8, that is one, no, uh, how many containers is that? 
One container? You gotta be joking. Wait, what? Is this one container? Oh, wait, no. I remember what these are. I remember what these are. Never mind. Okay, so we have the lucky containers where you get a, you get like a, I'm pretty sure guaranteed tier eight. Uh, am I not mistaken? Uh, yeah, one guaranteed, uh, one guaranteed, excuse me, tier eight vehicle. Yeah, actually, I would say this is worth it. Sure, you don't know which one you're going to get, but you do have a chance to get one you already have, then get a tier nine, and then maybe even get a tier 10 if you have the, get one that you already have, or you have a chance to get a bad one, or you have a chance to get a good one. But for $8, to be honest, I think that's pretty much worth it. So I actually would say these are the one crates that are kind of worth it. Next up, the oxidized PZB2. It's just a tier four, so in my opinion, it's not worth it. But for how uh, little money it is, I mean, you get some premiums, some boosters, and some other stuff. If you're into lower tiers, it is worth it, in my opinion. E25, number one. I have a review coming out this uh, either tomorrow or the day after. Amazing tank, amazing deal. Get this, it's only $10 and you get a ton of stuff with the E25. It is uh, definitely worth it. I love the E25 and this is an amazing deal. Next up, uh, all out attack, r large researchers kit and medium researchers and starter research kit. So, um, this might be worth it. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I think it's worth it. What? So, 37,000 gold to how much? 37,500. So yeah, these deals are actually worth it because you get about the same you get the same amount of gold, maybe like a tiny bit less. But you also get a lot of uh five times boosters and some boosters as well. So basically just a little bit of a bonus um for getting the the these ones instead of just the regular ones. So I would say these are worth it just because you get the other things tiny bit less gold, but to be honest, it's like barely anything less like 3,250 uh, and the, what's this? Yeah, same thing. I mean, these ones don't even give you less gold. So yeah, definitely probably worth it. Lucky tier 8, and then we have lots of other lucky containers. Of course, these are more expensive than the tier 8, the special deal. Uh, it's normally $22, and it's only $8 on that other one. So the other one, it's definitely worth it, in my opinion, because that is really cheap, and you have a guaranteed tier 8 tank. Uh, here are all of the other ones. I still recommend these. They're a little more expensive, so maybe, uh, you know, if you don't have the most money, you might want to stay away from these just because they're a little expensive. But you do have a good chance to get up to a, maybe a higher tier. And if you have a lot of the lower tiers, you can buy one down here and you have a chance to maybe get all the way up to like tier 8 or 9 or 10 even. So I would say I, uh, for crates, these are some of the better ones. But since they are crates, they're not really crates though. Uh, but still, I wouldn't recommend them just because you want to stay away. You might get a really bad tank or something and be really disappointed. But if you're willing to get, you know, a bad tank and you spend this much money, I think they're worth it. So that is pretty much it for the store. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, sorry about my voice. There's just nothing I could do about it. I had to record all these videos today because I am going on vacation. I'll be um, on, va on my way there when this video is out. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.